In today's video, I'll be showing you how to split screen in Windows 11. So what I mean by split screen is basically in the center of your screen, you can have some windows to the left hand side and you can have some to the right hand side, allowing you to multitask. So the first thing that we need to do is just ensure that you have the split screen option enabled, which is also known as snapping windows. So to do this, all we need to do is right click on the start menu icon and then go to settings. Next, you need to ensure that you have system selected and you then need to scroll down until you come across multitasking. You then need to click onto this option. Next, you will see the option for snap windows. So you need to ensure that this is toggled to on. Once you toggled it to on, you then want to make sure that the following options are all ticked. Once you have ticked all those options, we can then close down the settings or in fact, I'm actually going to keep the settings open because I'm going to use it as part of the example on how to split screen. So the first thing that you need to do is just open up a program, File Explorer, or like I've got open settings, and you then need to just drag it to the left hand side. So you need to open up the thing that you want to use for the split screen. You will then see a gray box like I've got on my screen at the moment. Once you then let go of the mouse button, it will then snap that window to the left hand side of your screen. Now allowing you to select the other program, file explorer or app, whatever it is you have open that you want to open on the second part of your screen. So as you can see here, I've actually got Firefox. So I'm now going to click onto this option and it's now opened up Firefox on one part of my screen. And then I've got settings open on the left hand side of my screen. So this allows you to multitask and use multiple applications on your screen at once, making life a lot easier. So as you can see, I can still use Firefox. I can click onto a post, for example, how to change the color of your taskbar, and I can still use that. I can then go across to settings and I can then go back like I normally would and then select another setting. I can also open up the start menu and then type in notepad. I can then open up notepad and I can then also open this up onto the screen. And if I want to then snap this and replace the settings, I can simply drag this to the left hand side and it will then change what is displayed. So as you can see, I've got notepad and I can then begin to type and just use notepad instead. So this really does help make life a lot easier. I actually use this a lot in Windows. If you don't want to use the mouse to drag it and snap it, you can also use your keyboard by holding down the Windows key and then using the arrows on your keyboard. So I've got notepad selected at the moment. If I hold down the Windows key and press the right arrow, you can see it centered it. If I then press the left arrow, it then snaps it back to the left. If I hold down the Windows key and go right and then right again, it's now snapped it to the right hand side. So using the shortcuts on your keyboard, as you can see now I pressed up and snapped it to the top, allowing me to select Firefox for the bottom part as well. So you can see there, using the keyboard really does make life even easier as well, instead of having to use your mouse to drag all the windows across. So that's also the other thing that I wanted to show you was you can have multiple things open as well, snap to each side. So now if I open up the photo viewer, I can then snap this to the left hand side and then press down on my keyboard to snap it to the bottom part and then click on settings. And I've now got four things open on my screen at once. So depending on how big your monitor display is, will obviously depend on how usable this option is. I've got a 27 inch monitor and to be fair, it's usable, but it's not really ideal because it, the windows are quite small. So I personally wouldn't use this, but the split screen option, just having one app or program or file explorer or something like that open on each side is usable. And like I said, I use that feature all the time. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you out. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.